we've come here to tell the United Nations that the land they mortgaged to Cameroon will be recaptured by the brilliant people of Amazonia. Right. Yes. That the complicity they had with the United Kingdom will be dampened. That your spirit, the indomitable spirit that has led you from your homes right here to this plaza, will not be extinguished by the penalty of evil installed in our homeland. That the spirit that has awakened from the dusty street of Mutangana to the alleys of Bamenda will not be squashed by the brutality of Cameroon, the complicity of the United Nations, and the utter silence of the United Kingdom. For the blood of our people spilled for those who've gone before us. We stand like valiant soldiers to lay our lives to ensure that their blood wasn't spilled in vain. That yes. they didn't die in vain. Yes. That the mothers who scream for their daughters, the fathers who are unsure where their kids are detained, wouldn't mourn in vain. I have come here as a soldier of the revolution. I have come here to assure you that this is just the first step to internationalize our struggle, to make the international community understand our pain, the pain of the mothers, the yearning of the fathers, and the doubts plastered on the faces of our kids, that the land, the 43 square meter land that we own will not be mortgaged, will not be taken by any other country. That we are ready, that we will fight block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, until the day as the last speaker said, we will be able to install a government in Boya, a government for the Amazonians, a government by the Amazonians, that is going to speak for us, back for us, make treaties for us. We are not going to around, allow an alien dominating power from Yaoundé to decide our future, decide the curriculum of our education, decide what language we speak in our court. And if the lawyer said no, right from here in New York, we send a message to Yaoundé that we are ready for the gendarmes, the be and all the evil spirits that have been installed in our homeland. That we will give our life for a free Amazonia. That if this country was built on the blood of people from distant places, we are ready as soldiers of the revolution to make sure that one day, just one day we have a homeland to call our own, a place to dwell in peace, a place where we as a people can decide our destiny. You've just got started. It's a long journey. Liberation is not a walk in the park. And I want you to be ready. Do not believe soothsayers who say, you are just going to have it on a platter of gold. It's going to be a hard struggle. But the footprints you leave here today will be followed by those after us. They will know we were here. They will know we fought for them. They will know we died for them. They will know we did our part. And so they will use the same rope map to be able to inhabit Africa. If that's the only thing we can give our children, let's do it for Mother Ambazonia. I want to thank your leadership. I want to thank all those who've made it possible for me to be here. Together as a people, we will fight together, go to jail together, so one day we may be free to Come on.